Offering time. Blessing time. The Lord is good. And all the time. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 to 34. You guys know this section. You know, this is um, a period of where people go through anxiety because it's time people want to give gifts, even when they don't have the money to give the gifts. They pay on credit, paying for money or from money that you do not have. Amen? Don't do that. You have to just readjust. You know, at times, it's like we, uh, Pastor said this morning, there's a time you have to say no. And there's a time you have to say, hmm, I will cut down my list of those I have to give gifts. If they don't like it, too good. If they like it, too bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow we worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. He says do not seek. You know, but seek, not do not seek. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You know, I was looking at that word seek. It is different from look. When you look, you are gazing. You may not pay attention. You just see something and you continue what you are doing. But when he says seek, it means you have to pay attention. You have to put some effort. You have to put energy. You have to concentrate. So what the word of God is telling us here is that we need to focus on the kingdom of God. And when we focus on the kingdom of God, a lot of things happen. One of them is that your anxiety will be taken away. So it says when you do that, all these things will be added to you. Do you know what all these things means? It means that you are clothing, you are housing, you are health, you are finance, you are family, you are relationship. Everything that is involved in your prosperity, God says, I am going to take care of it. He will add it to you if you first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now, how do you seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness? He says, the kingdom of, how do you say, he says, John, the, like before the time of John the Baptist, people have been taking the kingdom of God by violence. They push in. So if you are going to seek, you have to push in. So to seek means two things. You seek for yourself and you seek for others. How do you do that? You put your effort into it. But to seek for others, you have to actually tell them about the kingdom of God. Also, we need to expand the kingdom of God. And we cannot do that without money. Because money is what keeps the lights on. Money is what pays the mortgage. So we need to be able to seed into the kingdom of God. Because when we seed into the kingdom of God, then we are seeking God's kingdom and his righteousness. Amen? Offering time. Blessing time. The Lord is good. And all the time. And he says something here. He says, do not worry about tomorrow. You know, we worry about tomorrow a lot. You know, today was tomorrow yesterday. And tomorrow will be the day of itself. For, so if you imagine yesterday you worried about today. And today you're going to worry about tomorrow. You know one thing I like about um, going to work? You know, people finish lunch. Then they think about what they're going to eat tomorrow. I mean, you know, talk about your household, you know. You haven't even finished dinner for tonight. Then what are we eating tomorrow? Isn't that... That's how, that's how we are wired. You're thinking about what you're going to eat tomorrow. But what you're going to eat tomorrow is already in the fridge or in the grocery. 
So he says, don't worry about that. Just concentrate on today. Today, who am I going to touch with the kingdom of God? Amen? Offering time. Blessing time. The Lord is good. And all the time. Let's give into the kingdom. God is a good, good God. Father, you are mighty. You are great. You are gracious. Your steadfast love knows no ending. Your kindness stretches from generation to generation. Father, we don't even know how to thank you. Even if we have a thousand tongues, we cannot thank you enough. For you have been very, very good to us, Lord. We give you all the glory. We thank you, Father, for you have been good to us. You have blessed us. You have provided. You have protected us. You have promoted us in the sight of others. You have prepared a table in the midst of our, even our enemies. Oh God, you are our shepherd. We are not afraid because you are with us. You are our strength. You are our fortress. You are our refuge. You are a deliverer. You are a strong hand. Father Almighty, you prepare our hand for war and our fingers for battle. You make our eyes to see what you want us to see, our hearts to feel compassion for you. Fill us with your love this day, Lord, that we may be able to touch others with your love. May we be your instrument of righteousness. Yes. To you be all the glory, Father. And thank you, Lord, that we are able to seal into your kingdom. We thank you and we pray in the mighty name of your Son, Lord Jesus Christ. And the body of Christ says, Amen. Amen.